guys, it's Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for Batgirl issue 19. So let's talk about this issue and let's... Oh, also I have a couple updates before I talk about Batgirl. Um, I have a couple of reviews on Dark Avenger Inc. that I usually do on Comic Uno, which are on Kenny X-Men issue 4, um, Wolverine issue 2, Fantastic Four issue 6, and Invincible Universe issue 1. So if you want to go check out those reviews, just go in the description below and there'll be a link for Dark Men Drink so you go check that out. And guys, I also have a mention of a Kickstarter that I've definitely been following and I actually did a review for issue 0, which is on the Kickstarter page. And it's a, a comic book called Devil's Pool and it's a really interesting comic book, really original. If you want to hear more about it, go to the Kickstarter page. My review's on the Kickstarter page, so go check out that review, hear how original it is. And uh, I think you guys should, you know, donate if you want, if you really um, are interested in the comic. So just go check out the Kickstarter page. You know, the least you could do is check it out, see if you like it. Um, again, the description for that Kickstarter page will be in the description below. But let's talk about Batgirl issue 19. Um, let's talk about this Gatefold cover, which DC has been coming out with all of April. I uh, love this cover when I first saw it, actually. Um, when I first saw it, when the cover actually came out a couple of months ago, just just as this, I was like, this is interesting. We get to see um, Jim, Go you know, Jim Gordon. We get to see um, Barbara, you know, together. We don't get to see that that much in this series. I always want to see them confront each other. And does uh, Jim know that she's Batgirl? That's a question. And then we get this gateful cover that just makes it more interesting. And I gotta say, this happens in this issue. So, um, let's talk about this issue. We learn a little bit more about Jim's, um, Jim, uh, Jim Gordon Jr.'s past and a little bit about the relationship that Barbara holds with him. And we can find out a little bit about Barbara, you know, and I think this is so true. And I've been a, a Batgirl fan for forever, and I've read a lot of Barbara's stories beforehand as Batgirl and as Oracle. But, um... It's kind of true. Barbara doesn't have many friends, and, and they make a point of this in this issue, because it does it does take an important part in this issue. Um, Batgirl doesn't have many friends, um, real friends. You know, she has a lot of cape friends, and they're obviously her true friends, but she doesn't have a lot of friends as Barbara Gordon. She has a lot of friends as Batgirl. Um, and the Bat family is different. That's more of a family thing. She doesn't have friends. Um... So we, we get actually a story with um, the roommate, and um, they do confront each other, and one the roommate tells a, a secret, and Batgirl tells her whole story. So we get to see Batgirl, a lot of people actually were upset about this, but um, we get to see Batgirl tell a lot about herself. She didn't say that she's um, Batgirl, because that was one thing she did leave out, but she tells her whole story about, you know, being in the wheelchair, about the Joker, and I think a lot of people were upset, it's like, oh, this relationship wasn't really, I saw a lot of people complain about this, uh, the relationship, you know, wasn't really there, why Batgirl say everything, it's because Batgirl doesn't, I mean, Barbara doesn't really have that many friends, and she wanted to confront, you know, tell her something about herself to make that friendship closer, and we get to see that with this whole entire this whole entire scene, honestly. I think it's just make their friendship closer. That way they actually do have a friendship. And that's why Barbara does it. And that's how I, I'll explain this. As Barbara wants to have a friend. And I really did enjoy that whole entire thing. That way she does have a friend now. And they both confronted each other. And um, it made their friendship, or just created their friendship. So I really did enjoy that scene. And I thought I thought it was good, even though a lot of people didn't like it. Um, now we have the main story. Um, which is... Barbara confronts... Jim Gordon Jr. James Gordon Jr. And, um, James tells, um, Barbara's mother, their mother, to meet them at a carnival, which is the last place they, he smiled and was normal. <laughs> or kind of normal. Um, but Batgirl comes to her rescue, and honestly, the mother is ready to kill J James Gordon Jr., just everything that he's done. And, um, James Gordon Jr. actually tells, um, the mother trying to face her, is like, you know, Batgirl is Barbara. And, um, the mother actually knew that, and I was surprised about that, because I'll, I'll tell you why I was surprised about this later. But, um, we get to see the mother tries to shoot, uh, James, but Barbara's like, no, you really shouldn't do this. You shouldn't put this on your head, because she's like, you can't kill him. Um, I don't want this. I don't want you to think that you killed your son, even though he is crazy. So, we get to see Barbara and J James Gordon Jr., they have a fight, and he, she actually does try to s save um, James Gordon Jr., but he realizes if he, she doesn't, I mean, she realizes if he, if she doesn't kill him, this cycle will just keep going on. Her mother's probably gonna die, um, her father will probably die, she probably will die, and she has to make a decision, a, a quick decision, but she's like, I've done everything I can, and, you know, this was my last decision, this is self-defense, and, um, 
she kills James Gordon Jr. And guess who comes running around, come, comes to the rescue? Uh, the James Gordon Jr. I mean, James Gordon, you know, the father, Commissioner Gordon. Um, so he sees, Commissioner sees that his son's dead and Batgirl's the one who kills him. And he doesn't know that Batgirl is Barbara. So that's pretty much what we get to see in the end of this issue. Is James Gordon Jr. dead? I don't know. He falls off a pier. So let me show you that scene because I don't, I don't know if he actually is dead. Um, his body's there you know, floating, could he survive that, that's the question, I'll show you where Robert pushes him over and pretty much gets him in the eye, doesn't mean that he's dead, um, and then we get to see James, um, Commissioner Gordon looks at the water and he's not there, did he just drift away or does, does he have more story, um, honestly I think he will come back with just no eye, you know, and I think he isn't dead, but obviously this is going to strain Batgirl and Commissioner Gordon's relationship, and will Batgirl tell Commissioner Gordon that she's Barbara, and I think that's a question that I've been waiting for, and I'm glad they kind of confirmed that, um, Commissioner Gordon doesn't know that, um, she's Batgirl, because in the previous, in the 80s, um, Commissioner Gordon did know that, um, she was Batgirl, even though Batgirl never said anything, he knew and didn't say anything. Uh, but there's always different stories, actually, through, throughout the, the years and the decades. Batgirl had so many different stories. At first she, she was adopted, and then she was a real daughter. There's so many different stories that you kind of can't keep up with them. But in this, in this New 52, the thing that counts, uh, Commissioner Gordon doesn't know. And, um, I want to see how this relationship goes, and the mother does know, so... That's also something interesting. Um, why didn't she tell Commissioner Gordon? I mean, I have a feeling why, because the whole Batman connection. But I'm interested. I'm really interested. Um, the one thing I didn't like, which kind of lowered my grade just a tiny bit, um, was the James Gordon Jr. death. I enjoyed it. I think it's something that, um, or not death. I did enjoy it. I think it was something that left a good cliffhanger. But is he dead? Is he not dead? You know, um, do I want him to really come back in another story arc? That's kind of the question I have, and I don't know. I think he's kind of run his course in Batgirl. I liked what he did. I really liked his story. Really enjoyed it, but do I want to see more of him? I think this is a better ending, but him not having his body there is kind of likely that he's not dead and probably, again, missing an eye, and that's it. And we'll see a flashback and say, oh, you, you know, you used the battering, but you didn't kill me, and somehow he survives. Um, so I'm kind of disappointed with that. But other than that, I really like this issue. There's a lot that happens uh, with Batgirl and this whole entire story. It's actually my pick of the week. I really enjoyed it. Um, again, a lot just happens with Batgirl that I think we've all been waiting for. You know, things that were developing with James Gordon Jr., with really the family, um, really develops in this issue. And um, that's why I really enjoyed it. As a Batgirl fan, as a fan of the series, I really enjoyed it. Um, I see where people have problems with this issue. Um, and I... I I can see their point of view, but for me, in my point of view, I really enjoyed it. And I see how Gail's looking at it. I would say I, I see why she does all I, why she do, did all these things in this issue, and that's why I really enjoyed it. I can see where she's coming from with this issue. But I, again, I see both sides why people didn't like it and why people would like it. And for me, I really enjoyed it, and um, I enjoyed it. So I'm gonna give it a four and a half. Again, that one problem with James Gordon Jr. I would have given it a five, but I just don't know what to really think about that ending. But um, I enjoyed it. Good story, good pacing, and finally everything's coming to a head with this issue. Um, so pick it up. I give it a four and a half, and I hope you guys enjoy this Comic Uno. Guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and the Red Situations, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.